New Jersey Society of CPAs members have a new way to connect with fellow members and ask and answer questions. The NJS CPA mobile app, which is available for iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and Android devices, offers the functionality of Connect, the Society's online community, even when you're not at your desk. Today I'm showing you the app on an iPad. However, the layout will look a little bit different if you're accessing it on an iPhone or an Android phone. To download the app, go to njscpa.org mobile, and you can use the QR codes to the right of the screen, or tap the download links if you're visiting the page on your mobile device. Or you can go directly to your device's application store and search for the app called Member Centric, all one word. Download the app and then access it on your device. And the first thing you'll be presented with is a screen to select the organization. You will scroll down and pick NJS CPA and you'll be prompted to log in. This is the same username and password that you use when you go to njscpa.org or connect. It's your email address and your member ID number unless you've changed your password to something else. The great thing about the mobile app is that once you enter your login credentials one time, the app will remember that and auto log you in each time you access it going forward. So once you're in the app, let me go through what you'll have access to. The first thing you might want to check is your profile. Tap on your name and just review the information that's listed. If you see any contact information that is inaccurate, please visit your profile form on the Society's website at njscpa.org profile to make the updates. The next section is called Discussions. So when you tap Discussions, you will be presented with all of the messages that have been posted to all the communities to which you belong. The messages are integrated and they're in chronological order with the newest at the top. This makes it very easy for you to see the most recent discussions. You can tap one of the discussions to read it and then you can use the icon in the lower right corner to reply just to the person who sent it or to the entire group. If you would like to start a new message to a group, tap the icon just above the message list and the post message screen will come up. You can choose the group that you would like it to go to, and only the groups that you belong to will show up on this list. And simply type in your subject and your message and click the send button in the upper right corner. The next section, going back to our menu, is people. And there's two tabs in the people section. The first one is my contacts. This will contain a list of everybody that you've become contacts with on Connect and will give you very easy access to their contact information. If you tap on one of the people, you can tap their email address to send them an email message. You can, if your device is a telephone, you can tap their phone number and it will dial it. You can even tap on their address to bring it up on a map. The other tab in the people section is search directory and this will enable you to search all 15,000 of your fellow members and have access to their contact information at any point. The next section is Inbox, and this is a list of all the messages that you've received via the Connect site, direct messages from other members. Typically, you will also receive these via email, so this is just a, a log of all of the messages that you've gotten. The next section is events, and it's just a chronological listing of all of the society's upcoming events as well as the 11 local chapters. Ultimately, if you click through to any of these events, you'll be taken to the njscpa.org website where you can get more information about the event and register online. The next section is announcements, and this is where you can see any news or alerts that the society would like you to see. Below that is a list of all the communities to which you belong. And here you can tap on a community and see just the messages that have been posted to that community. Below that is the news section where you can see the society's Twitter feed which contains national and local accounting news. So now I'm sure you can't wait to download NJS CPA Mobile and get started using it. So as a reminder, go to njscpa.org mobile for the download instructions or search for member centric in your device's app store. Please contact me if you have any questions.